Hey guys, this is Kyle Bennett at HardOCP.com. And so, with our test yesterday, where we saw a difference in our Malaysian and our Chinese-made 1700 CPUs, I headed out this morning, and we hit up Fry's, and we hit up Micro Center, and to look for Chinese and Malaysian-made CPUs, the only thing we could find here in town happened to be both made in Malaysia. I did have Fry's check the racks and I had the guys at Micro Center check the racks. Thank you sales associates there, I appreciate your help. So anyway, we're gonna test these two Malaysian made CPUs and see if there's any uh, difference in the overclocking headroom. So this is our uh, first Ryzen 7 1700 that we got from Fry's. It is a made in Malaysia CPU. And so this is where we're at. So our first uh, Malaysian CPU would only run to about 3.8. So we're glad to see this one's at 3.9. The system has been up about three hours. Been running two instances of Handbrake, instance of Heaven. And if you want, You can still run a uh, instance of Blender on top of all that. So it's good to know that we're not seeing any difference between the Chinese and the made in Malaysian CPUs. From here, we're gonna check the uh, Malaysian CPU from uh, Micro Center. So given this a uh, few days to run, this one, this is the uh, Malaysian made 1700 from Micro Center. It took a little bit more to get dialed in than the other processor did, but you can see where we ended up there. 3.865, 100% stability. It's running two encodes of handbrake right now. There's your blender to run very easily. And we also have um, heaven running in the background. You can see uh, it's loaded across all 16 threads and our uptime there has been uh, two days and 11 hours. 